A busy year for Canada saw both the men's and women's field hockey teams compete at the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, Scotland. It stands in the circle on the reverse excited and score. For both teams, there were benchmarks throughout the year. The women held a highly touted English side to a draw in a test match during their UK tour, while the men finished second at the Champions Challenge, losing in the final to a strong Korean team. That was a really good experience for us, and while we didn't perform up to our, our potential in that game, I think it, it gave us a look at what it's like to play in a, a real international tournament and a real international final, so that's only going to stand us in good stead coming up this year. And for both programs, the goal for the year ahead is quite clear. It is qualifying for the Olympics. We can't uh, sugarcoat that situation at all. That's exactly what we're looking for. Um, and not only that, I mean, our program is about being successful at the Olympics, so not just qualifying for the major tournaments, but being successful there. And that is the benchmark for us this year. But as sports cliches go, the most important part of the journey might be the process. And part of the process is preparation. Um, we really need to make sure we maximise January and February. Uh, January and February in Vancouver is not the best place to be, so um, part of the strategy is to go offshore into a warmer environment and make sure that we're um, training as much as we can and we're as often prepared as we can be by March, um, given the, um, the Canadian climate. Both teams have two pathways to qualify for the Olympics. One is the World League Tournament, which is held in stages. The Canadian men and women are headed to World League Two and will have a chance to qualify for the Olympics if they move on to World League Three. The other pathway is winning the 2015 Pan American Games, which will be held in Toronto next summer. As a whole, I mean, any qualification year is massive for us and especially I think it's, it's a little bit special to play a Pan American Games um, at home. Uh, to play in Toronto is gonna be, gonna be really cool, I think. The entire year will sort of build up to that event. Um, I mean, there is always the opportunity that you've qualified for the Olympics before that, would, which would be extra special. It's something that every national athlete dreams of, but only a select few get the privilege of experiencing. A lot of guys are they're anxious. They, they want to get there. Um, it's a big year. Um, you know, we're, we've put a lot of work in since, I guess, the end of 2012. Uh, so guys are just they're ready to throw everything at it and, and really qualify for Rio. And with qualification comes realization. It's years of hard work being rewarded. This year is about Olympic qualification, and uh, that would be achieving dreams. Uh, it's something that Canada hasn't done since 92, and it's something that I've dreamed of since being a small child, as I'm sure all of my teammates have. So that is the goal, and the journey to do that is something special. There's no question the motivation is there. For the coaches, it's about turning that desire into results. We're getting better and better. We're getting fitter and fitter. The girls are getting technically stronger and, and technically smarter. So um, it's definitely an outcome-focused season. Um, but we've got to bring it back to what we can control and what we can control are, are the little things which is all about process. I don't think you can look too far ahead because it's a huge goal trying to make it to the Olympics. So it's a huge year and really exciting. Uh, we've been improving since Ian's come and we're really excited to get 2015 going. I can't believe it's here already. I felt like we were talking it, about it years ago. And if all goes as planned, they'll be talking about it for years to come. One, two, three! Black!